1953 saw the creation of a four-kilometer-wide exclusion zone that separated North Korea and South Korea. The South then added an extra buffer zone, which in places stretches out for 20 kilometers. The Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ, as politically icy as the Siberian winds that whistle across its jagged peaks. Today, over a million guards patrol the border. On the map, it lies at 38 degrees latitude, a geographical concept that has become a military demarcation line, the 38th parallel, an area bristling with military hardware and teeming with wildlife. Political boundaries mean nothing to nature. To this rare male Chinese water deer, this war zone is home. While humans defend their borders with guns, mines and fences, he protects his own boundaries with a surprising weapon of his own. The water deer prefers solitude to company. It makes it easier to remain inconspicuous. He patrols his territory, challenging all rivals. Political rivals meet here, at the Joint Security Area at Panmunjom, otherwise known as the Truce Village. The first step towards reconciliation is a matter of finding common ground, of which the most precious exists quite literally right between the two countries, the demilitarized zone. Just four kilometers wide, the DMZ snakes for 248 kilometers across the Korean Peninsula, running through lowland wetlands, steep hill slopes, jagged escarpments and narrow valleys. But for the sentinels who work here day in, day out, the view soon wears thin, particularly as winter approaches. Guarding the DMZ is a cold, lonely job. For these two guards, it involves mostly monotonous lookout duties and repetitive daily patrols along the barbed wire fences. Another vigilant sentry also keeps watch but the quail on the ground fails to notice the kestrel on its lookout post. The kestrel advances to a second position. It's a strategic move. This spot also serves as a launch pad for attack. 